Okay, it's ready now. So we take off the cover, take a look. Doesn't that look nice? And mmm, smells delicious. I can hardly wait to sink my teeth into this baby. Welcome to Lee WTV. Good morning. It's breakfast time. And today, in addition to a cup of coffee, we're going to have some butternut squash cake. Now this is made from butternut squash, flour, eggs, a little bit of oil, and it also has crushed walnuts and raisins. So it's delicious, it's nutritious, has lots of protein, other vitamins and minerals that are good for you, good for your cholesterol, and as I said, very nutritious. And if you're if you'd like to find out how we make this, stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how this was made this morning. Today Lee is making steamed butternut squash cake. This is a butternut squash from our garden. And first she is cutting it into thin slices, and in a few moments, she will steam it. Now Lee is taking seeds from the butternut squash, which she will dry, air dry, and the next year she'll be able to plant them. We will have a new crop. Now it's time to steam the butternut squash. We have a large pan that has cold water and a little pedestal. Put the cover on, start the heat, and let the water boil for about 15 minutes or so. And then we'll see what happens. Now it has been steamed for about 15 minutes or so. And there is some water from the squash. You need to drain that out. A little bit. Because of the oil. Only a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> because it's very, it was very ripe. So there's only yeah. a little bit. Oh, okay. So, uh, that's sweet. Now she's going to... Crush it with a spoon. Mm. It's very soft at this point. Mm. Now, after thoroughly mashing the squash, you would add two eggs, a little bit of vegetable oil, one package of dry active yeast, and about a half cup or so of crushed nuts. You can put peanuts, cashews, walnuts, anything you'd like. About te two teaspoons of sugar. You can put as much or as little sugar in there as you want. And approximately two cups of flour. Now this is gonna depend when you need it you want to make sure that the consistency is such that it's not sticking to your fingers. So how much flour you put in there will depend on the consistency. You'd also put two tablespoons of butter. And then you're going to knead it with your hands for about five minutes, again, so that it's not sticky on your fingers. Okay, then you knead it in the bowl and spread it out on a cutting board or something like that. Put some water and uh, some bun. A little water? Uh, oil. Oil. Mm. Oil. A little bit of oil and there oh, these are nice. raisins. Now we're going to roll it up. So roll it this way too. Kind of 
just mush it together. And we put a little oil in the bottom of a bowl. And take the dough and put it in the bowl. Now cover the bowl with some plastic wrap. And the bowl is going in through the refrigerator overnight to let it rise. Into the fridge. Now the dough has been in the refrigerator all night long. And as you can see, it's risen nice and high. We're going to take this and steam it this morning. Now we put it in to the hot water and we're going to steam it for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's ready now. So we take off the cover, take a look. Doesn't that look nice? And Mmm, smells delicious. I can hardly wait to sink my teeth into this baby.